Good morning. This is Pastor Marvin Osborne with First Baptist Church of Birmingham, Ohio. We've been talking about the rapture of the church, the nine signs of the coming rapture of the church, how important it is for us to be ready, as Matthew 24 tells us, that all of us are called to be ready. And uh, with, the, with the formation of Israel becoming a nation in 1948, the, we know that Israel is the central focus of all end-time prophecies, that once they became a nation, uh, though these many decades later, it, it, be, it became uh, the super sign of which all other uh, uh, indicators of the, uh, uh, the rapture of the church taking place uh, began to be measured, by which it's all, all measured. So we said that sign number one was Israel becoming a nation. Sign number two, we said in, in, da- in the book of Daniel, the increase of travel and knowledge. We said in uh, sign number three, uh, the digitization of the monetary system that uh, the government's can, uh, going to gain uh, more and more control over the monetary system, which allows them to control you. Uh, you're not going to be able to buy or sell unless uh, you worship the beast. So it's going to be the trigger effect of total control of enslavement of the, of, of the world's population. It's coming. We see it. Just watch the news. Read behind the lines. Seeing how they're wrestling with this, with this, um, um, uh, this, uh, this debt ceiling that they they keep talking about. It's interesting times. I've seen articles where it's saying that um, uh, the president may uh, stop us from even taking money out of the bank. It's scary times scaring times, but yet God has not called us to be, be scared, but be prepared, right? So we're, go- we're talking about sign number four, and it's a sign that we've seen happen in our country, uh, and that is the idea of a movement towards a one world government. We go back to uh, Revelation chapter 13, and where it talks about the, uh, the rise of the Antichrist. Then I saw another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb and spoke like a lion, and he exercises all authority of the first beast in his presence and causing and causes the earth and those who dwell in it to worship the first beast, whose deadly wound was healed. He performs great signs and even makes fire come down from heaven on earth in the sight of men. And he deceives those who dwell on the earth by those signs which was, which he was granted to do in the sight of the beast, telling those who dwell on the earth to make an image to the beast who was, who was wounded by the sword and lived. He was granted power to give breath to the image of the beast, and that the image of the beast should both both speak and call as many as who would not worship the beast of the uh, of the uh, uh, worship the image of the beast to be killed he calls us all both small and great rich and poor free and slave to receive a mark on their right hand or on their foreheads and that no one may buy or sell except one who has the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name herein is wisdom let him who has understanding calculate the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man. His number is 666. Revelation 13, 11 through 18. That idea that all nations will come together, the United Nations, the idea of all, all nations. You think of China, you think of Russia, you think of Israel, you think of the United States, you think of Mexico, you think of Canada, you think of all nations coming together and allowing one leader uh, to control all things. It is believed that um, that uh, the world is being divided into seven ec- uh, economic uh, uh, areas or territories within the world today, and then eventually the world will come together and they will appoint one leader, this Antichrist, this 666. Everyone uh, will receive a number uh, it, 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 to show allegiance to this one world system. 
that that mark in the forehead uh, in the hand or in the forehead will be the means by which you buy or sell. In other words, we know what the scanner code is, and instead of putting our our phone up to be um, to pay our bills or to take out a debit card or anything like that, what you'll do is you'll scan the mark on your hand, or you'll take that little clicker and you'll click the the mark on your forehead to pay all of your bills. In other words, if you don't have the mark, you cannot buy or sell. That idea of giving ourselves, giving our sovereignty uh, as a nation over to a, uh, a, a, a one world government, one world leader. And we've seen that. We've seen the, de the deterioration of that. No longer do we uh, speak quietly and carry a big stick. No, no, no. We had to make nice with everybody. You know, um, corporations uh, dictate so much as what what occurs in the world today, and we are dependent upon China to um, to provide so much of the uh, of the necessities of, of of our country for us to function. We no longer we're no longer a manufacturing uh, entity as we once were. Uh, as a as a country, and we've we've exported all of those jobs overseas to Mexico, to China, and other places like that, and uh, so we we've seen all this occur in our lifetime. We see how we're uh, we're bowing down to the world court, or we're bowing down to the United Nations. We understand that some of our military are actually part of the world peacekeepers. And, and so forth. And this stuff shouldn't happen. How much of our money is going to, um, to provide uh, for, for other nations? And so they take your tax money and give it to other nations to protect our interests. And uh, so you can say whatever you want to about our former president. And uh, I'll tell you that I voted for him uh, twice. And uh, um, and, and I may have not looked up to him, his moral choices in his life, but he, he believed in America first. But now we have a government that certainly doesn't believe in America first. They believe in a new world order. And we saw, we've seen that over and over again, that idea of giving our, our sovereignty over to the world, what's better for the world. Well, let me, let me assure you of this. When they try, when they say that we're trying to help other nations to to elevate them to our standard of living, I don't think that's what they're doing. I think they're trying to bring us down to their level and to make our country a third world nation. Uh, fourth sign number four is uh, the the movement towards the one world government. I think we can all agree this is where we are at. We are no longer America first. We're, we're, we're concerned about um, all the other nations and we'll, we'll, uh, we, uh, we're bowing down to, to weaker nations um, in order to, uh, to, to help them. You know, and in truth, China owns so much of our debt. And if that is ever called in, I don't know how they could, uh, but that idea of so many nations own our debt, that the collapse of the United States, which would trigger all, a collapse of all the other nations as well, um, uh, would be de uh, devast devastating for this, for the country, uh, as well as for the, for the world. And uh, so it's, it's, it's interesting times. Again, it's not given to us to scare us, but to, be, to prepare us. And I think it would be wise for all of us to have food reserves in our home, to uh, be able to provide for ourselves because there may come a time where they control how much food you can get and what kind of food you get from, uh, from the state or from uh, the grocery stores and other things. Amen. This is Pastor Marvin Osborne saying God loves you and I love you as well. And I'll talk to you soon.